Good morning. I'm glad you're with me this morning. Why were the Pharisees still seeking signs from Jesus? So we're going to look today at Mark 8, verses 11 and 12. Let's read it. Then the Pharisees came out and began to dispute with him, seeking from him a sign from heaven, testing him. But he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Assuredly, I say to you, no sign shall be given to this generation. So, if you remember, the, if you've been with me the last few days on our morning devotionals, hey, Jesus has done quite a few miracles and things coming up to this point. Now, it's true that the Pharisees haven't been there every single time, I'm sure, but, but word was really getting around, and so they must have heard of these. And we know the Bible doesn't record all the miracles that Jesus did, actually just a very small sampling. We find that at the very end of the Gospel of John. And so, there's a lot of things that were current in those days that were going around that Jesus was doing. People were hearing about them that, we, that we've never even heard about. We'll get to hear them when we're in the kingdom. But the Pharisees, really, why would they come to Jesus seeking a sign? It's, it's Frankly, it's quite bizarre. Now in, the la now, in the last few chapters, I mean, look what Jesus has done. He's fed the 5,000. He's walked on water. He's, he's uh, released some people from demon possession. He, he fed the 4,000. He, he, healed, he healed many in the region of Gennesaret. He, uh, Jesus has been very busy, very busy. Uh, why would the Pharisees now come and say, we, we need to see a sign? Is this really about a, a lack? Did Jesus not provide enough evidence? Or is this something else? Is this kind of about power and politics, so to speak? Is this because there was no sign that Jesus could give that the Pharisees would be, accept would be acceptable to them? There just wasn't anything he could do. They, they were kind of totally locked and they were totally unreceptive and unopened. They were not open to Jesus. They were just totally closed. And so, yes, as soon as Jesus feeds the 4,000 here, the immediate thing we have before this, here come the Pharisees, and they want to see a sign. I mean, come on. This is, this is not an issue of facts. This is an issue of power plays. So when we think about this, it's actually very simple. This is, this is really kind of about power plays. And just disregarding, Jesus could have done signs from morning until midnight, and that wouldn't have convinced the Pharisees. So they just, the fact was that their hearts were not open. What does that tell us? What message is there for us in that? Could it be that our hearts aren't as open as they should be? Could it be that Jesus has a lot to give us, but too often our hearts are hard like the hearts of the Pharisees? Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, we don't want to be like the Pharisees. We don't want to be cold and hard-hearted. They keep asking for miracles, and you keep giving them. You can give them faster than they can ask for them, but they're still asking for them. Oh, Lord, help us. Help us to know that you are the one who intervenes. You are the, the source of all power. You do have miracles for those you love. Uh, you even send rain on the just and on the unjust, and so, of course, you have miracles for us. But we also know you give according to our need and according to what we can bear. Help our hearts to be open to you, Lord, so that we can bear the good things that you will give us, we, so that we won't misuse them, so that we won't be damaged by your good things, and instead that we will be helped and drawn towards your kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Help me to be open to, to God's miracles. Are you open to God's miracles today? Who knows, you might have one. God be with you, and have a great day in the Lord Christ Jesus.